I am Slick Nick, the living legend of hair loss, your personal hairline hero, and perhaps the face of the franchise of hair loss. Am I the most popular YouTuber who talks mainly about hair loss? No, I'm more like number four based on the fact that I've got thousands of videos on the topic and I'm pushing 10,000 subscribers. So the interesting thing, and, and, and this is something that most of my viewers I think still struggle to grasp and I get this comment daily. Why are you so obsessed with your hair? You're nearly 40 years old. Why do you care so much about your hair? The irony is, and I've been very open about this, five and a half years ago when I started my YouTube channel, the whole incentive was because I watched a documentary on YouTube in which I learned that you can make money from having a YouTube channel, that you make money from the ads. So for a month, every day, I made three videos a day of just whatever random thing was going off the top of my head to see what the free market would pick up. And the one topic that just soared above the others was hair loss. I made a video about a receding hairline. So then I realized, oh, that's what people are already obsessed with? Because I'm a libertarian, I recognize the power of the free market. So I started making videos on that, helping pe feed people's obsession and giving them the option to get help for that. Now, the way I do that now is I remind you of the video in the description that helps you learn. It's a quiz that I invented. There's five questions you ask yourself. Best out of five helps you determine whether you are going to go bald or not. This is something I've studied and crafted over the years I've been doing these videos. It's, it's, best, it's best out of five though. It's not focusing on just one thing. You have to answer, answer all five. And then of course in that same video, you'll see the 10 things that society actually judges you on. And let's even assume that the 11th thing was your hair. Well, there's 10 other things that they actually judge you on. And it's a matter of either you buy into the truth or you keep obsessing over yourself and thinking that people really care that much about your appearance the way that you do. So am I able to help most of my viewers? No, only a small minority are able to really pick up what I'm throwing down. So there's an overview of really what this channel is actually about. But ultimately, I want to talk about, I wrote it down in my note book here, where I keep up with all my calories and protein for the day, as well as ideas for videos. But I wrote down here, 2,000 subscribers, Jake Kent, de-stigmatizing hair loss. I wrote that down. So here's the deal, a couple weeks ago, he reached out to me via email and said he would like to do an interview with me for his channel via Zoom. But we just couldn't get the scheduling right. So it hasn't happened. Maybe it will happen later, but it hasn't happened at this time. So uh, I did take a look at his, his uh, channel. And if you go to right now, again, Jake Kent, you just look that up on YouTube, you will see his banner and it says, Destigmatizing Hair Loss. Now it's interesting because I am 100% about the same thing. I mean, it's amazing I haven't made a video with that exact verbiage de-stigmatizing hair loss. I feel absolutely that's what this channel is about. It's about taking away that stigma that hair loss is a bad thing. But see, there's different perspectives of that. When you look at Jake and you look at his videos, what you're gonna see is he is very openly talking about specifically de-stigmatizing wearing a hair piece or having got some kind of work done or hair transplant, whatever it is, de-stigmatizing that. And that's his thing. My thing is, destigmatizing hair loss, but accepting it, saying if it's in your DNA, because that's what, what determines hair loss, that you were born, you were born with DNA that determined roughly by age 35, whether you're gonna be bald or not. That's, that's the reality of it. Most men who are gonna aggressively go bald, you know by age 35, and that's one of my five things in the quiz. And now I'm four and a half years past that. Yes, receding hairline, yes, some thin in the back, but. Ultimately, also on my little quiz there, you look at a, a photo of yourself at age one. That's your project, projection of you at age 35. And that was the case with me. So I'm already talking about five, two of the five things that in my quiz. So it's interesting because ultimately, when you look at Jake and I, and I totally respect what he's doing, and I respect that he's growing his channel. He wants to interview uh, YouTubers like me who have a bigger audience to help expose them to him. And I, I think that's great. I think it's... It's funny, I openly tell everybody, you shouldn't be watching my channel. It's a, it, it's a waste of time. Just watch the one video and move on because that's all you're ever going to need to know. But if you can't accept that, then you need to find something else that 
uh, someone who can honestly relate to you because I can't. And I think Jake Kent is someone you can relate to. Hairliciously, one of the most popular YouTubers in the world who really is, is always about hair transplant. Yeah, they're much more popular than me and they have figured out that's their audience. But my audience, I'm like the Joe Rogan of hair loss. Well, he doesn't have hair and I do. That's not what I'm saying. The mentality of Joe Rogan in me is quite the same. Is that we believe, I'm saying what me and Joe Rogan believe, but he's talked about it on, a, on, a, on his channel before, Joe Rogan, is that the older you get, the more you realize that the things that you think people are judging you on, you're wrong about. And you stop caring about stuff that doesn't matter. I mean, even stuff like on the internet, like whatever would be trending on Twitter about some actor in a movie, what they said, you don't even have an opinion about that. You don't assign emotion to that stuff anymore because you're able to focus on what matters, which is again, what I talk about in that video. But absolutely, should we destigmatize hair loss? That's what I've been trying to do for years with this. But ultimately, what's, what's strange about me, and, and if Jake ends up interviewing me, it, it might be an awkward video. It might, it, honestly, it might be, because he's gonna be asking all these questions, what do you think about this, what do you think about this? And I'm gonna say, I personally don't care, because my identity is not my hair. Instead, I know that I'm being judged by everybody around me on 10 things, so I just do my best on these 10 things. I learn what I'm good at and what I'm bad at. I take care of my body as a temple. No, not my temples, but my temple. I'm taking care of my body. I know that the number one thing that people judge me on is whether I'm confident in myself. Fake it till you make it because no one can tell the difference between real confidence and fake confidence. I know the importance of respecting women and helping my fellow man as I'm trying to do with the video that will actually help you. I know the importance of finding identity in my unique skill set. I know what I'm bad at. I'm bad at a lot of things, most things. I'm good at some things. So I make that part of my identity. Yes, I am healthy and active. I just told you I have a journal showing that I'm keeping my calories under 2,000 a day, but having at least 100 grams of complex protein a day. I'm at the gym six days a week. I walk two miles a day in addition to that. Decisive, absolutely people care and they judge you whether you're decisive or not. It's a very masculine trait. Committed, yeah, I've been married for 12 years. I mean, I think that says something about commitment. Leader, you're able to take complex ideas and, and simplify them to people. I feel like I'm doing that, whether you accept it or not, but I am doing that. A good communicator, I guess I kind of have to be when I have 10,000 subscribers. I must be pretty decent at communicating. Number nine, funny. I'm funny. You're laughing right now because I'm hilarious. Oh, that wasn't funny? Okay. Well, ultimately, there's different senses of humor. So when I start out a video and say, I'm Slick Nick, the living legend of hair loss. See, if you don't have a sense of humor, you don't realize that that's funny. But if you have a sense of humor, you realize I'm making fun of myself and that it is funny. But people who don't have a sense of humor often don't know something's funny when they see it, which is proof that you need to get funny. And then lastly, emotionally intelligent, someone who assigns emotions where they belong. So somebody, no one can hurt my feelings. No one can disrespect me. I'd have to allow them to do that. I have to, have to give them power over my own emotions to allow them to do that. So. I'm not assigning emotions to being disrespected or anybody hurting my feelings or something like that. No, most things don't emotionally affect me. Even today, I was getting out the protein powder from the top shelf, which it shouldn't have been, it should have been on the bottom, and the lid came off. A volcano of chocolate protein whey powder. My son was there, he's 10, about to turn 10. Did he hear me curse? No, because I didn't. Did he see me get angry upset? No, because that's not what happened. I just started cleaning it up. I thought, man, I need to stop putting that on the top shelf. There's no reason for emotions to be assigned to that. Very seldom are emotions assigned to anything. And it's a matter when you can delegate that, it's a sign of maturity. So ultimately, there you go. That's who I am. This is what my channel is actually about. But ultimately, I'm not here to help you save your hair. I'm here to help you save your manhood and your identity by what's in that actual video. And that's a difficult truth for a lot of people to accept. It's not what they want to hear. So if you want to hear something other than the truth, find your own version. Watch another YouTuber and maybe join in with Jay Kent. Maybe he can really help you where you're at, whereas I can't help you. I can't help everybody. I can only help certain people. Certain people who want to embrace their hairline or lack thereof and find their identity beyond that. 
realizing that we're much more than our hair, realizing that there's no reason to focus so much on our looks when we're being judged on these things instead. Your comments belong right here.